Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at two things, adjustment layers and locking layers. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is adjustment layers. Now adjustment layers are like filters or lenses um, and they apply to all layers beneath them. So what they do is, um, for example, you can have a few layers and you can add an adjustment layer to change colour. And the adjustment layer will take a filter and it will apply it to all layers below it. So let's see this in action. I'll go to layer at the top, new adjustment layer, and click hue or hue and saturation. And there are lots of different ones you can choose to uh, click on, but today I'm just going to do hue and saturation. And you'll notice as soon as I click on it that I can name the layer what I want to name it. So I'll name it hue saturation. And I'll press enter. And if you notice, uh, now my keystrokes are, uh, you can actually see my keystrokes at the bottom here. So for example, if I want to take off the rulers, I'll just hit Command R. And you can see that the uh, the keystrokes there are actually being shown. But of course, on Windows, you'd hit Control. But because I'm using a Mac, I'll use Command R to get rid of or replace the rulers. Now, when you uh, create this layer, you'll notice that the Adjustments layer panel, Adjustments panel comes up. Um, and if you click on your Layers panel again, double click on it, you'll notice that you have this, um, this strange looking layer, uh, which shows you the layer, shows you a link, and then shows you this black and white circle. Now, the layer itself is usually going to be empty. What's important is that the, uh, if you double click on the layer thumbnail, you will um, open the adjustments panel. And through this panel, you will actually be able to edit and adjust your layers. So for example, I can change the hue and you'll notice that it changes the color of the text and of the background. And hue is just a, a measure of the of the, ver, uh, the value of the color that's being used. Saturation is a measure of how saturated the color is. So from completely black and white or completely grayscale to fully saturated or somewhere in between. And lightness just measures how light or dark the color is. Of course, 100 lightness being completely white and minus 100 being completely black. You usually want to go for zero or somewhere very close to that. And if you set the hue back to zero, it will go to the original place. And if you set your saturation back to zero, it will go to the original place. Um, but this is just a quick way of adjusting lots of layers. And you can do it for a number of things. And you can apply multiple adjustment layers. For example, if I've changed the hue and saturation, I can then apply a new adjustment layer above all of these layers. And I can make this, what, uh, this adjustment layer a uh, brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And you'll notice that the brightness and contrast comes up and I can increase the brightness for all layers, decrease the brightness or increase or decrease the contrast. So that's how contrasted the colors are. So this is just a quick introduction to adjustment layers and depending on the type of adjustment layer the appropriate dialog box will open and you can create the settings you want to experiment with it and you just exit the dialog box and you are done. The next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, locking layers. If you notice, I will um, delete these two layers, and I'll delete the text layer, and I'll, on a new layer, I will draw just uh, a small red box. So now I have one layer with a background and one layer with a red box. You'll notice that there are various functions up here next to the word lock in the layers panel. And they all do various things. There are four separate levels of lock that can be applied. And if you notice, when they're clicked, the icon becomes dimmed, and there's a lock that appears above the layer. Uh, on sorry, to the right of the layer panel. And without it being clicked, it doesn't. The box does not uh, go into place. You'll also notice that when you click on one of them. Um, the, the lock all layer, none of those will be able to be clicked, but when you click on some other ones, you may be able to click on two or three in combination, and I'll show you why that is now. This first one on the far right is uh, a sort of complete lock, and that will, it's called lock all, and that will lock anything on the layer. So if I click on this layer, and then I press V to get onto the move tool, you'll notice I can't actually move the layer. You'll see here that uh, Photoshop tells us that the layer is locked and we can't do anything. I can't erase the layer, 
I can't actually do anything onto the layer whatsoever. And to remove the lock, you just click there. Now, this is very useful if you're working with a lot of fine margins. For example, um, you, you're just completely happy with the way a layer looks and you don't want to accidentally add or take something away from it, especially if you're not using layer masks. To the right of that, we have the move lock, and that will prevent a layer from being moved. You'll notice the same lock also appears, but at the top we can see that the move lock is in place. So that will prevent the layer from being moved. However, if I want to brush on it and just change the colour to black, I can still brush on the layer. I can still edit the layer, I can still add to the layer, I just can't move the layer. And I'll just remove that, and I'll unlock it. The next lock is the painting tools lock. So if I lock on, if I lock the image pixels, you'll notice that I can't, um, uh, I can't actually paint on the image uh, anymore. The image has been locked. However, note that you can still edit a mask applied to the layer, um, but you you also can't move. Uh, sorry, you can move the layer, but you won't be able to move the mask. Selecting this um, lock image also will lock the transparency. And finally, you'll notice that the, the fourth one here is lock transparent pixels. Now, this is a really useful option um, if you have an image that you're completely happy, or you're completely happy with its transparency. So you'll notice, for example, that this, this red square has transparency all around it. Um, and because we've locked the transparency, we can still move the layer and we can still paint on the layer, but we can't actually paint on the transparent area. If we paint and go up and down and up and down and up and down, it will actually preserve the area that is transparent. So we can paint on it as much as we like, and that will preserve the transparent area. But when we remove the lock, we will be able to paint on the transparent layer. So that's just a quick introduction to the various types of lock and the adjustment layers tool. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you check in for the next tutorial where we will be talking about other beginner functions in Photoshop.